The Indiana political world, as well as Indy's Southside community, are still processing the death of State Senator Jack Sandlin. He died overnight after a heart attack. As Fox 59's Russ McQuaid shows us, Sandlin was a mainstay of Republican politics and a military and IPD veteran. The news of Senator Jack Sandlin's passing reverberated literally from the streets of Indianapolis to here at the Indiana State House. For more than six years, Jack Sandlin represented Southern Marion County and parts of Johnson County at the Indiana State House, where he argued passionately to scrap the state's gun permit system, fought expansion plans by Indigo, and tackled homelessness and mental illness issues. He was huge in mental health, and now here's a cop, somebody that's dedicated his life to you know locking people up, bad, putting bad guys behind bars. But he also had the opinion that, look, I mean, some of these folks are not bad people. Some of these people are mentally ill and need to be treated and helped. After serving in the military in Vietnam, Sandlin came home to Indianapolis in 1973 and became a police officer, rising to the rank of deputy chief before his retirement in 1996. He did his 23 years, very successful uh, private investigative business. Um, Worked for me, like I said, at Southport when I was the chief. Sandlin was the Perry Township Constable and the City County Councilman before he moved on to the State House in 2016, where he became an expert on law enforcement and criminal justice legislation. If we had something where a, a law was missing something, uh, particularly the investigators would find something that would they would struggle with on their criminal case, uh, they would get with Jack, talk to him, and, and Jack would work to try to get that law changed. A statement from Governor Holcomb's office reads, quote, Indiana lost a true public servant today. Senator Jack Sandlin was a gentleman who devoted his life to serving others in public safety on the front lines and in our state Senate. His clear voice and integrity will be missed. It's a huge loss for the city of Indianapolis. I mean, Jack Sandlin's entire life was about service. And there's been a request passed on from Senator Sandler's family to the governor to ask that the senator be allowed to lie in state here in the rotunda at the Indiana State House. In downtown Indianapolis, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. Thank you very much, Russ. Republicans in the state's 36th Senate District will meet within a couple weeks to name a replacement for Sandlin's seat.